welcome to a new video today i am talking to you about my favorite of the month of july and august i was away on holidays um a good bit of the summer so i decided to combine the two into one to make just one video instead of having two tiny ones and not being able to upload them at the right time so let's start i am going to start with the beauty products and keep the rest for the end uh, a little disclaimer there are quite a few lush products inside but i'm not sponsored by lush i just love this brand <laughs> so if you, in case you're wondering that's why the first lush product is the fairly traded honey shampoo now this is not a cheap one it's one of their most expensive shampoos but i think it's absolutely worth the price it is uh, it is full of essential oils and really makes your hair super soft and super nice looking um, you really need to a tiny amount um, it actually looks like honey inside and if you can see the color and the texture is actually the same it doesn't lather that much on your hair but believe me it is really really good um, the only thing in case you don't like uh, strong essential oil smells it might not be for you because it's quite a strong scent it does not stay on your hair after you put it on but it is strong whenever you do wash your hair with it the second product is the Veganese hair conditioner and I have actually only tried this one I used to work in Lush quite a few years ago and um, I had tried this one at that time and for some reason I kept forgetting about the fact that it existed <laughs> and I decided to give it another go because my hair was getting greasy at the roots quite quickly I wanted something that could detangle my hair but that wouldn't weigh it down, make it really greasy at the roots. So uh, it's quite good and you can use it all over, not just on the end and it's good for the scalp. So Veganese air conditioner, good good one. Now the next one I am absolutely in love with. It's part of the new Lush products they have just launched recently. And it's the Yuzu and Coco Moisturizing Shower Cream. It just smells absolutely amazing. It is lovely on the skin. Now, the one thing I would have to say I'm not too happy with it's the fact that they put some colouring inside. So it does actually look a bit like paint, <laughs> if I'm honest. But um, yeah, I didn't. I don't think it was absolutely necessary for them to do that. But it's not something I am against completely. To the point I would not use the product. It just it just smells amazing. I can't stop. I can't stop smelling it. The next item, if you are from the UK, I'm afraid you might not be able to find it in the shop. You might be able to find it online. I don't know, but it's a deodorant. I already had a deodorant in my last favorite of the month. I might have a thing for deodorants, but anyway, I bought this when I was in France. My sister was wearing it, and it smelled so nice. I asked her what she was using. And I had to buy a few to bring back. It's a deodorant that smells of milk, orange blossom and shea butter. And it's 0% alcohol which is very good for sensitive skins like mine. And it's a nice compressed sized bottle which is handy to have in your handbag if you want to have one on the go. And I absolutely love this one. It's a deodorant, there's not much else to say. It just does its job. It just smells really nice. In my last video I told you I was going to use some other product from the Liz Earl skincare range and I have liked most of them uh, but there's one that I absolutely love and I had to talk to you about it's the soothing eye lotion so I only have a small size bottle there there you go um, I have sensitive eyes and my eyes tend to get really dry and itchy and just using the cotton pads on with that just refreshes them in the morning I feel more awake whenever I use that and it's just really really lovely so if you want to give it a go I think it's a bit pricey um, so it's not really for everyone I guess but um, it's just really really lovely I only I only bought the small bottle like this to try it first and I'm actually going to order the bigger one because I love it so much moving on now from beauty products to various things the next thing is this see this little lantern over there i'm going to grab it to show you um it's from ikea and it has a little glass door like this that you can open 
and you can break the whole glass inside it as well. Uh, I bought one of these um, candles for a few p. I don't know how much I can remember. But this lantern was £9 and I thought it's a really good price and it really adds a lot of character to any room and I absolutely love it on my shelf. The next item I discovered while I was in France but I am pretty sure you can find it in the UK and more than likely on Amazon because it's a brand that does exist in the UK. Uh, it's a tea mug. Now, it doesn't look like much like this, I agree. Um, it has, um, if I can open it, a spout to drink out of. But the fun thing about it is that inside there you have a um, little box where you can put some loose tea leaves and leave it at the top. Now if like me you don't like your tea too strong, you obviously don't want to have that in the tea the whole time. So the way it works is that this is inside the lid so you wouldn't fill your mug up to the top and whenever you want to infuse the tea you press that down and it drops it. And when you have enough you just lift it again and it doesn't impact the fact that you can actually drink the tea from the spout. I bought one of those for James for his birthday which we celebrated when we were in France and I liked it so much that I thought I would get one for myself. So James has a um, green one and I have a red one. And the brand is Aladdin, which um, does exist in the UK. Tesco sells their um, water bottle. So I am pretty sure you could find that online uh, easily if you wanted to. The next item, there again, I never thought I would ever talk about something like that. Anything related to exercising is usually not my forte, let's say. But these. If you watch my daily vlog you've seen me open them and be very excited about the color and stroking them because I love them so much, so much that I decided to put them in this video. Um, I have really high arch in my feet and um, when I walk if the, um, my sole is not supported uh, I get really soft feet. But these have a memory foam um, sole inside uh, which means that it takes the shape of your foot whenever you walk so no matter what shape your foot is it will fit you which is a great plus the other thing is that they are very flexible they are very light and i've walked around with them on all day uh, yesterday and i absolutely love them so i will be wearing them for the school runs and to do my exercise routine which i should be starting again soon because i really need to but um, they are a nice little motivation to start this again. Last but not least, I decided to include a third item which I have been loving this summer. It is the Lidl's own brand of hand-cooked vegetable crisps. Uh, they have parsnips, carrots, beetroot, and I think sweet potato. Yes, sweet potatoes. Um, whenever I saw in the shops a lot of vegetable crisps, I uh, decided to try a few browns and the first time I tried them it was some quite an expensive brown I think, I can't remember which one but they are um, more higher end brown anyway and I thought oh yeah it's nice but meh. it's not actually that much healthier than uh, normal crisps anyway. I went to Lidl before going to the cinema to buy a snack to bring over. I was going to go for popcorn and I saw these and I thought, oh, they have the Grocer Food and Drink Finalist on label 2015, as it says on the packet there. So I thought, that's a good thing. They must be good. And they really are. <laughs> they are. Uh, since I have tried quite a few browns, I have tried the Terrell's one, I've tried Tesco's on brand, another one which I can't remember now. And these are by far the best ones I've tried. So that's it for the favorite of the month. If you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel. There should be a big red button somewhere down there that says subscribe. And you can do this so you get notified whenever I post more videos. I daily vlog every single day and show my daily life with my family. The videos go up at 5 p.m. GMT. And I have an extra video on this channel as well on Thursdays at 10 a.m. This is one of them. Next Thursday you will find my uh, most frequently asked questions um, answered 
and the week after that if all goes to plan is a very special video I've been working really hard for that you will not want to miss <laughs> believe me so in the meantime I hope you have a good day and I will see you later bye Bye.